From the outside, the Camellia House looks much the same as it did in November 2022. But inside, the Camellias are safe behind their protective netting and enjoying the effects of the LED lighting, generously donated by Lumatech, a British horticultural lighting manufacturer. We've installed a new underfloor heating system and this has now received its new screed covering. When we've completed the work on the Camellia House, the main entrance will be through the older building which stands behind it, Lady Rockingham's Tea Room. Here we are in Lady Rockingham's Tea Room. This will be the new reception for when the house opens up in summer 2023. In the new reception area, we strip back the existing panelling and also the existing floor from the original build. We also removed the old roof trusses and I've put in new services. To complete the build of the new reception area, we're going to match the original panelling and beading on the walls. We're also going to make the floor as perfectly level as possible. And we are going to match and make a replica of the old fireplace with some of the original pieces. So obviously the trusses are now back in position. So um, the problem that we faced in with the trusses is the building has tipped or fallen with subsidence 200 millimetres north to south and also tipped east to west as well by 200 millimetres. So we can't put the roof back level, too level as it is because it would lift up the roof above the parapet. So to achieve the levels, we recorded the existing levels on each corner, reinstalled the four corners of the trusses and then we've had to string line through to maintain that same fall throughout the building. The problem we've got with the glass is they're quite large panels and they were obviously when they sit on the rails the glass will not twist so if the, the rails aren't, aren't parallel and perpendicular the glass will, will, will rock on the rails um, so we've got to make sure that the rails and the glass all sit true but that's quite difficult when the building's tipping like it is so once the trusses are in place and we've got the base plates leveled as so best we think we can our final uh, uh, adjustment is obviously on the rails so where obviously the rails sit up on the trusses, we can pack these up with washers to get the final adjustment to the rails, to get those as true and level through as we can, um, to ensure that the glass sits squarely on the rails and there's no movement in the glass. And we've also started work on the Camellia House fountain. There's quite a lot, although it's not a massive amount of masonry, there's quite a lot of work to happen here. So initially we've started raking out the joints so we can re-establish some lime mortar joints ready for the sort of waterproofing works that are going to be going on. Um, but it's going to need cleaning. You can see there's quite a lot of lichens and moss and algae on here, um, which make the surfaces very slippy. So we're going to be removing all that and hopefully cleaning it up nicely. Um, and then we'll be stripping down the fountain here, taking apart the individual elements, and moving them away for indent repairs, you know, so you can see various elements have broken off over time. They're going to be taken away and repaired and brought back. That'll give the guy a time to fit all the hosing through, ready for the fountain to be re-established. So he'll feed his hoses through and then we're going to rebuild this in situ. Um, and then obviously we've got the tanking works to the bottom to happen. Um, so yeah, there's going to be quite a lot of new stuff going on, you know, sort of around the fountain. So it's quite exciting to hopefully have this back and, and shooting up in the air again. The fountain has now been deconstructed and we're planning how to repair the damaged parts. The top section of the fountain is actually missing and we'll recreate this to restore the structure to its original appearance. We've also been busy repointing and replacing sections of stonework that were too decayed to save. Over at the stables, the work we've been doing is clear for all to see. The derelict and dangerous 1970s classroom buildings and swimming pool were all demolished by the end of 2022. This was a huge undertaking and involved the removal of large quantities of asbestos by specialist contractors before the demolition could be completed.
Over the next few months, this part of the site will be regenerated and landscaped as our new main car park and visitor entrance route, and we can't wait to share the transformation with you in future update videos.